What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Damien Cryer. Gang, 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 gang. I hope each and every one of you guys is having a wonderful, blessed, and amazing day today. Man, I'm doing just fine. As y'all know, this is another one of my late night videos because y'all know I work during the daytime and I start vlogging at nighttime. I just started getting a little bit more serious about doing more content at nighttime because I guess without the lawnmowers outside running, door slamming outside, you know, cabs pulling up or people Ubers or getting their cars and all of the stuff that goes on throughout the daytime, it's just really loud. So I find it a lot easier to actually vlog at nighttime, actually really late. And then I'm able to actually edit the videos and render them, get them uploaded, and then I can actually deliver the videos to you guys the following day which I'm kind of starting to like that a little bit. So leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know if you guys think that I drop videos at a good time of the day. You think that I drop them too early? Do you think I drop the videos too late? You prefer when I drop videos more on the weekend versus the weekday? Um, just leave me a comment in the comment section down below because your opinion is matter. You know, again, like I said, three or four videos ago, I like doing the pranks and stuff. You know, I'm an older guy, so for me, it gets a little challenging for me to do pranks and stuff because I am an older guy and there's a lot of risk involved with doing pranks and stuff. Um, I do a lot of cooking vlogs and stuff. I, you know, I am going to bring those back. I've been slipping on those a little bit. Um, but, you know, what I really enjoy most doing about YouTube is I love doing the story time. So that's what this video is about. This is going to be another story time. Oh, by the way, guys, I got my little... Uh, apple juice I love this stuff so much it is so good it is so freaking original I don't think this is a hundred well they said it's a hundred percent apple juice who knows and I made me a little snack don't laugh at me now this was supposed to be strawberry shortcakes just without the strawberries I actually ate the strawberries at work yesterday because they sat in the refrigerator for a few days and I didn't want them to go bad Mm. So anyway, this video today is about, and I know a lot of y'all can concur what I'm going to say. This applies to both women and men, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, kings and queens. You ever started dating somebody you know when y'all started just fooling around you know after something really bad happened let's say for instance for example you might have went through uh, these aren't as fresh as they were when we bought them it says expiration date April 15th oh shoot wait a minute today is the Oh my God, this is the 17th. So they are getting a little bad. They're good, they're soft, they're just not as fresh. You guys ever went to a, through a bad breakup? And during your breakup, you stressed about it. You wanted her back or you wanted him back. You tried to call, you tried to text in. And then you knew it was serious when the text messages stopped coming back, the phone calls stopped coming, your calls go unanswered. Y'all know with the iPhone, y'all know I'm still kind of new to the iPhone. I'm like four months into the iPhone and I got the 6S, which is cool. I don't have to have the 10 or the 15 or the 20. 6S, 6S is just fine. I actually bought my son, my 11 year old son, Darian, the same exact iPhone, identical. But iPhones, the unique thing about it is when you send someone a message who has an iPhone, you know if they open the message or not because it actually tells on you. So you got that option. So basically, so you you know, you text in the ex back, you know, and see that they open the message and they don't respond. And the herder, the stabber is when they don't respond and you know they open the message up. You know they open the message. You looking at it. You see it. So you know things are serious. So the first thing you're thinking is, it's gotta be somebody else. It's gotta be somebody else. 
So they'll go through the lies, the emotions of telling you, oh, there's nobody else. I promise you, I'm just going through things. I just need space. How many of you guys heard that? And women too heard that famous word, I just need space. When a woman or man tells you that they need space, it's somebody else. It's somebody else. Don't ever be fooled by the I need space routine. Now, a lot of y'all watching this video are probably looking at each other saying, hmm, this dude is exactly right. If a person in your relationship is telling you that they need space and they're constantly saying it, they're saying somebody else. They're saying somebody else. All they're doing, basically, and this is 100% fact, all they're doing is they're trying to make sure that it's locked down 100% before they completely cut your ass off. You know, excuse my language, but I'm going to say a curse word every now and then, especially when I'm vlogging and talking. All they're doing is they're making sure that they got the side piece locked down. That way they can fill that void when they kick you 100% to the curve. Think I'm lying? Think I'm lying? Check it out. Do some research. When somebody tells you that they need space, that's when your antenna should start moving up. Start paying more attention. A person telling you that they need space, they're already dealing with somebody else. And what I say by locking down, basically is if y'all live together, y'all in a committed relationship, y'all going half on bills, grocery, car notes, car insurance, taking the kids to school, picking them up, dentist appointment, doctor appointments, and all that good stuff for the kids. Somebody has to fill that void. A woman or a man ain't gonna be fool enough just to just cut your ass off. Especially if you haven't did anything wrong. They ain't gonna just cut you off, they ain't that stupid. Who would wanna go from, I'm getting 50% of help with everything every month, to all of a sudden to 0%. I just wanna struggle all by myself. I don't want you anymore. I, I want to just struggle. I want to live paycheck to paycheck. I want to just be broke and struggle. Never, ever. It's nobody that foolish to do something like that unless they have mental issues. You know, I got mental issues, but they're not as bad as some people. I think to a certain extent we all got mental issues. But if somebody is telling you that they need space, that's when you need to start opening your eyes. <clears throat> you need to get in front of it. You can't stop the person from doing what they're doing. If he or she is already cheating, is already saying someone, there's nothing that you can do to stop it. You can't. When it's good to them, it's good to them. When they caught up in the moment, they call that the honeymoon effect. When they're going through that honeymoon effect, the damage is already done. It's too late. Ain't no need to go to jail, go beat on the door, go like a stupid, oh, excuse me, fighting, Quitting your job, jumping in the car, driving crazy. When that happens, you know what you do? It hurts. It hurts. It does. What you do, you walk away. Yeah, it's hard at first. You used to the scent of that smell of that person every night. You complain about how they much they snore, but you just so used to it. You know, you used to have them around, you used to the meals, the just to everything, you just got accustomed to that way of life with that person. But you have to walk away. Because I'm gonna tell you, it's not gonna hit you until you actually see them and a significant other together. Here's a point that I'm getting to. I just wanna start from here. Mm, these things is getting kinda old. When you chew them that long, they taste like bubble gum. They start to chew like bubble gum. I think that's the night I'm at the throat. It was out. So if I keep eating them tomorrow, I'm going to end up having to blow a bubble with them. That's just the laugh. Anyway, you have to walk away. You have to swallow it, man. You have to walk away. Because once a person gets involved with another person, it's a new experience for them. You know, everything feels good. Things don't feel normal anymore. Things don't feel like the same normal, they know the position that you're gonna do it in, 
they know the noise that you're gonna make, they know the moves that you're gonna make before they move it. Things is not normal, everything is different. And when you have that different, it brings some type of excitement. It brings like a whole new life to you. You know, they call that the lust. You know, man can run game on a woman as much as a woman can run game on a man. They can tell us or we can tell them all the right things. We can tell them all the right things. I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to do that for you. I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to do that for you. And it all sounds good. And we fall right into it because it's a whole new experience. But then they try to keep it a secret. That way nobody knows. Now, they ain't going to let it go public until they know that they got this person locked down. You know, the, the other person, the side chick or the side dude might already have a woman at home. So they want to make sure that they do, you know, do they do diligence on this. They want to be careful. They ain't going to be going to the same stores that they normally would go to on their side of town. You know, they're going to be doing things out of their character that they don't usually ever do. You know, you're going to start noticing all kind of little red flags. But you can only, you know, go so long without slipping. Eventually, you're going to start slipping. So then one day, you got the sting in your mind when you're a single person. And you get to sitting there thinking like, oh my goodness, I'm going to avoid going on this side of town. I'm going to avoid going on this part of the city because I don't want to run into these individuals. Because you know, mentally, the damage is already done. You know you're going to eventually run into them one day. Boy, when you run into them, how are you going to react? Are you going to be the same person you was when you just said, okay, and walked away? Knowing that you was deceived and lied to and played and just disrespected to the core? But you know you're going to run into them. So one day you're walking around and you're wherever you're at. You're in a store, you're at the movies, you're at the mall, you're at Wally World, Walmart. And all of a sudden, your worst fear happens. You walk in and you're pushing your grocery cart. And you got nothing on your mind but the goal that you're trying to accomplish to get what you got to get and get out of here. And all of a sudden, you're walking down the aisle and you're picking up the canned goods and you're looking. You got your pack of chicken. You're thinking in your mind, what am I going to cook with this tonight? What goes good with this? And you're crossing your notes off and you go to turn the cart the corner and boom, it hits you like a turn of bricks. They're right there. There's your ex, the person that you love. I loved him so much or I loved her so much and you see them with a new person. The side chick or the side dude has become the main person that's replaced you. And it's right there in your face and now you're like, oh my God, what am I going to do? How do I deal with this? It's right there in your face. What do you do? Your heart's beating. Your heart's throbbing. You're swallowing hard. Your underarms are sweaty, but you're still holding that cart. You're still maintaining. Your lips is quivering a little bit. The first thing that hits you is, do I speak? Your heart is sinking because reality done hit you like a ton of bricks. The whole time you're wondering, does this person look better than me? Does this guy look better than me? Um, is her rear bigger than mine? Is she more physically fit than me? You got all this going through your mind and boom, it's right in your face. And it's the worst thing you ever feared. The person they would now dress is better than you. They look nicer than you. And your ex looks really happy. And it's like boom, 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 boom. That's your heart throbbing. Do I speak? But that bottom lip is trembling like. Uh, 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 uh. So what do you do? You look at him, you walk past and you go, how you doing? and go right around them. True story, true story, true story. I did it. It's a true story. It's a true story. I've had, I've, I've had people tell me, Damien, you are a bold MF. You are a bold dude, man. Hey, you only live once. So a lot of these experiences, you only have one time. But, so, while you're going through the grocery store, now you got a motivation that's telling you you need to get the f out of here. Walk, lead a cart, lead a food basket, get out of here. Just go. 
get clear away from this right here. Then you let a few months go by. You let a few months go by. You said, okay. So the worst thing that I thought that was going to happen has happened. And by the way, just so you guys is viewing this, no, this is not particularly about me. Parts and pieces of it pertains to me a little bit, but the video is actually not about me. It's about someone that I'm really cool with and very close to. So, a few months go by, and now you're dreading on going on that side of town. You're dreading never to go inside that store again because you don't want to be confronted. But when you do go, you want to make sure that your hair is right. You want to make sure you look different because different change brings about attention. Change brings about attention. <clears throat> Change brings the attention of other people, other females, other males. You start attracting a whole different caliber of people, whether it's males or females. You know, now you're starting to gain that self-confidence back. And, to, and then one day it hits. One day you meet someone. But even though that your ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend You've seen them already with a new person, but they've never seen you with anyone. They just see you as the red-eyed guy or girl who they know that went through it. And the whole time, the new girlfriend, a new boyfriend, is like, <laughs> and you're sitting there like, you know, still trying to absorb all of it. So all these months go by, then you finally meet someone, but you do your best not to let the one who did you wrong see you with your new significant other because you, in your messy little mind, you're thinking maybe one day we get back together so I don't want him or her to see me. But then one day it happens and your new significant other that you're with is bad, is bad. When I say bad, bro, I mean bad. Bad. I'm talking about so bad that she makes the statement without even opening her mouth. Sorry, I got notifications popping up while I'm trying to vlog. She's so bad, or he's so bad, the ex is just... So, you go somewhere where you know that they're going to be at, somewhere that they're hanging out at. And they used to seeing you there because they know that you're gonna be there. You won't miss opportunity to be there because it's part of one of your obligations or commitments. And you show up one day unexpectedly after them, after they used to seeing you by yourself so many times, you show up unexpectedly one day. And they thinking that they're gonna just catch you by yourself and they're gonna be stunting and all lovey dovey. And you walk in the door, bro, with the baddie. And all eyes is like turned like this and mouths is dropping. Now, you know, your ex, he or she is sitting there looking and feeling some type of way because they done seen you multiple times by yourself. They know what they did to you. They know it. It was already pre-planned. Remember that I said at the beginning of the vlog, I need some space. That's how it always start. So whenever that you go through a situation back on a serious note. And you think that things can only get worse in your situation, that's not true. When you're in a bad situation and you go so far down to the bottom, there's only one direction to go and that's up. There's no way that you're gonna go down and keep going down. The far as you can go is the ground. We can always go six feet lower, not by choice. But once you go so far down, there's only one way to go and that's up. So people that's out there that's in situations when you feel like that you got to beg after somebody that wronged you. When you feel like that you got to beg after somebody that wronged you, don't. Don't degrade yourself. I see a lot of situations where these men and these women break up with this and different others. Two days later, they right back together. Why? Why? If it's something that continues to happen, 
It's unhealthy. It's an unhealthy relationship. People go back because they think they can't do any better. A lot of people are together. It's not because of love. They done moved past love 10 years ago. What's holding them together right now today? It's because they don't know how to move on without you. It's not love. It's because they don't know how to move on without you. All I'm saying is right here, if you decide, dude, and you decide, chick, man, you better look in this mirror and check yourself, man. Because what happens is, when you decide, chick, you know that you're doing wrong. There's a reason why you decide, chick. Now, say, for example, if you get lucky enough and to be able to transition over from the side chick to the main chick, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. Think about it. If you were the side chick and you were lucky and fortunate luck, uh, enough to transition over to the main chick, that means you had to deal with a lot of stuff. That means the man that you was dealing with already had a woman the whole entire time. And he left his woman finally after so long of making promises to you that now he's with you. And what do you think he's going to do to you when he meet the next one? He's going to do the same thing. That's why I say, value yourself. And this is not as women. I'm using side chick as a word because they haven't gave man a, a, a side name yet. Side dudes. It's the same thing. If you a side dude and you dealing with a woman but you the side dude, it's the reason why you the side dude. And if you are fortunate enough to, be, to transition over from the side dude to the main dude, bruh, you in trouble. Because you will never be able to trust her, ever. You know, all I'm saying is that there's ways out. There's ways about doing things. You know, don't degrade yourself. God put enough women and men on this earth for all of us to have one. You know, there's enough. There's enough. You know, so you don't have to be the side chick or the side dude. Because if you are, you better believe something's wrong. All I'm saying, man, is look for the signs. The first sign is I need a break. We need some space. I want you guys who know what, exactly what I'm talking about to go in this comment section at the end of this video if you're not already there now reading the comments and tell me if someone in your relationship or in your future life, I mean, I'm sorry, in your current life or in your past life had the audacity to tell you that they needed some air, that they need a small break. And I want you to tell me how that relationship worked out. I'm almost 99.999.9% sure you guys are going to tell me I'm right. Anyone who's told you that they needed air or needed a break, did you actually move out for a certain uh, period of time and let them get some air for a week or two or a week or three or a month or two or a couple months? And then you repack your stuff up and she told you that, hey, I'm over this break. Come on back home. Any of y'all, please tell me. I need to know at the end of this video. Now, there's a reason for this video. This is actually a motivational video to open the eyes of people, to encourage them and let them know that just because you've been wronged in your past don't mean that you cannot move past it. Because I'm telling you, karma and revenge is a mother. One thing that I know about women is... Never is they going to see you pop up with a very fine woman and not feel some type of way. Dudes. One thing I know for a hundred percent fact. Dudes. Never is y'all going to break up with y'all ex and dare to want to see her with a dude that looks ten times better than you. Probably sitting on swole, driving better, looking good. You know what I'm saying? Never is y'all going to not feel some type of way. You know, it's just the way that the world is. So I would like you guys to leave some comments at the end of this video, man. Let me know what your input is on this video. Thoughts and opinions is more than welcome, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, man, this video is just for motivational, man, to all my kings and queens out there. Like I said, everybody are kings and queens. There's only two types of people in this world, men and women. Men, kings, women, queens. So the video is actually a motivational video, man. 
I love you guys, man. Let me know if you want me to continue doing videos like this, man. I'm trying to bring you guys videos every day, man, because I'm trying to schedule myself to start doing them at a certain time in the evening. That way I get them to you guys in the daytime. Let me know if you guys also, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you think I drop videos too soon in the daytime, if you want me to drop more on a weekend, you want me to drop less on a weekend, or you want me to just go crazy on the weekend. How do y'all want the cooking, the vlogs, challenge, or y'all want me to continue doing videos like the one I'm doing right now? or majority of what I'm doing right now. Let me know if you have somebody who tells you that they need some air or need a break. Anyway guys, I'm Damian Cryer. I love you guys, man. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you get this video to, let's see, 300 likes. Tomorrow's Thursday, uh, May 18th. So let's stay. Tomorrow, I don't see the date on my Mac. Let's wait a minute. Tomorrow is Thursday. If I got the date wrong, guys, I'm sorry. To take tomorrow is Thursday, April the 18th. I get at least 300 likes on this video tomorrow. I will do a part two to this video, guys. And I will tell you guys how, how you know that the dude that you're dealing with, uh, you're not the only female that he's dealing with. And I can tell you guys some of the signs to look for. So anyway, 300 likes on this video. I'm gonna make that video happen for you guys. I love you guys. Until next time, I'm Damian Cryer, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.